It's a season of giving and a local cycling and yoga studio is doing just that. The Spin and Zen studio is launching their holiday drive tomorrow. It's called the Snowflakes and Candy Canes Christmas Wish Tree. That was All a mouthful. All right, yes. Yeah. So here to tell us more is Sandy Bishop, the owner of the Spin and Zen studio. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, we're excited to learn more about this um, Christmas uh, drive, but first let's talk about your actual studio. When and why did you open here in the triad? Okay, great. I opened Spin and Zen Studio with my friend Gail Ward back in January of 2022. Uh, we wanted to bring something to our community that wasn't currently here. A studio that has a purpose to offer professional as well as specialized small classes for our members to be individually um, focused on and worked with uh, on a personal basis. Okay. We're showing some photos of the studio now. It's a nice oh, space that you have there. So tell mm -hmm. us why, what inspired you to hold a Christmas drive? Uh, well, we try to stay active in our community with different fundraising drives. Um, earlier this year, we worked a uh, drive called Suitcases for Love. We collected uh, new and gently used suitcases and duffel bags, and we donated them to women's shelters and children's homes. Um, most people don't realize that when most kids get adopted, they have their belongings to be taken with them only in a garbage bag. So having this wonderful drive we created helped them to have these great suitcases and duffel bags to go to their forever homes. That's a great idea. That is a great mm -hmm. idea and great to point out for that need that maybe the community doesn't even realize. So how does this new drive work that's coming up for the holidays and what do people need to do if they want to participate? Great, thank you for asking me that. So we decided to come up with the snowflake and candy cane gift giving idea. Um, it's something that's near and dear to Gail and my hearts. Um, we, again, we wanna give back to the community, to the children that may not have something under the Christmas tree. Um, so what we do is we have put a tree up in the studio and we have these candy canes and snowflakes. And you can see those or not. They're um, on the tree and you can come in the studio and get those and they have the wishes of the children's uh, wants and needs for Christmas. Um, if you can't come into the studio, you can send us an email and we can reach out to you and let you know what their needs and wants are. And you can also make a donation through our Venmo account. Okay, that's fantastic. And just to give us kind of a preview, I mean, you've seen some of these lists of items. What are some of the more hot button items that some of the kids want this year? Oh, wow. So I'm just kind of looking at the ones I have in front of me right here. Sure. Uh, a TikTok slushy maker, um, uh, an LED boomerang, walkie talkies, Scooby Doo plush toy, um, a, lot of, a lot of footballs, Rubik's cubes, um, okay. a little bit of things. And we have kids from as young as one years old up to 14 and 15. Okay. Um, we're also asking for family donations. You know, they need stuff. They may not be able to afford to feed their dogs, so maybe dog food, um, kitchen supplies. Um, again, if you need any further information, just send us an email and we'd be glad to reach out to you. And in order to drop off all of this stuff, Sandy, can you just run us through the logistics there of when people need to do that by? Yes. So we are asking for all the gifts to be donated, uh, unwrapped by no later than December 15th, so we can get them to the children's homes in time for Christmas. Okay, awesome. We know that you mentioned the suitcase drive that you had earlier mm -hmm. this year. Are there other initiatives that you generally work with throughout the year that you want to highlight here? Um, yeah, we actually worked just here recently with uh, Paul Alliance and A New Leash on Life. It's an organization that works with dogs that are looking to be adopted. Um, they work with prisoners that focus on training the dogs potentially to go to these families or to maybe a battered woman's home to help them get the uh, life back on track and be more secure in their home and their future life. Thanks for all the work you're doing, Sandy. This is all terrific. Yeah, it's amazing to see you expand your reach into the community outside of just offering these great spin and zen classes. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for your time this morning talking about the Snowflakes and Candy Canes Christmas Drive. Again, this kicks off tomorrow. Folks at home, you can stop by their location in Clemens to pick up the participating child's wish list. And if you can't make it in person, as she mentioned, you can email them spinandzen at gmail.com to receive a list. And then, as she mentioned, also their Venmo, you can... Um, contact them for that. Donations do need to be submitted by December 15th. You can also visit their website to learn more that is on your screen now.